The CAT-7 array of radio telescopes are listening for electrical signals that have traveled billions of light years and are infinitesimally weak. And we need to be really far away from people and the things that they do, because anything modern really interferes with our observations. So people, the microwaves, their cell phones, their cars, all these things really drive us further and further away. The data CAT-7 has already catalogued has increased our knowledge of the universe. We've been imaging neutral hydrogen in our galaxy. We've been looking at uh, transient events. We've looked at pulsars. But really, we're limited by data. We need more data to do better science. The signals Simon looks for are so small that despite a combined detecting area of over 1,000 square meters, these seven telescopes capture just two megabits of data per second. And Simon's ambitions go far beyond that. I think really understanding how galaxies came to be the way they are, you know, the evolution of the universe, I think that's one of the most exciting things we can anticipate addressing. It will really answer the questions of how did the universe get to be as it is and where is it going? It's only achievable through big data. We really need to catalogue the entire universe. We have to figure out what it was like at every epoch. And that's the only way to really understand how it evolved and where it's going. Life on the Karoo is about to change. These telescopes are set to be joined by more, thousands more. A new telescope array will fill the valley, covering a square kilometer, the biggest array in the world. Over the next 10 to 15 years, this valley is gonna fill up with telescopes. As far as the eye can see, you'll see telescopes forming a vast array, bringing data, siphoning back into the Karoo, where science is going to be done on an unprecedented scale. Work has now begun on the array. The new telescopes will receive 30 terabytes of data per second. It will be the biggest data collector ever built. We're moving into the regime of unprecedented amounts of information. We have to take a step back from the data and think, what are we trying to extract from the data? What is the information that's actually contained therein? And make sure that our tools and our techniques that we bring to bear look for the patterns in the data. And this really requires a new breed of astronomers to see how we're going to change from where we are now to this next big shift. Simon Ratcliffe and his team have to develop a way to retain the important patterns in a huge flood of telescopic data. If they can do it, they will discover the greatest secrets of our universe. <laughs> 